What's up, YouTube? We have a November uh, 19th through the 24th edition of Motown Mail. Um, a lot of cards, a lot of signed cards this week through purchases and a 50-50 uh, a a, um, and a blind trade. First off, the only non-card I got this week. I'm sorry, this is not the only non-card I got. Uh, but first off, this official um, National League Bill White Ball signed by 1989 NL Rookie of the Year Jerome Walton. It's playing for the Cubs at the time. Didn't have a baseball of Jerome Walton. Got this for a dollar twenty-five plus shipping. So, stupid ball loans were fifteen bucks. So, uh, the seller definitely lost money on that transaction after eBay fees and shipping. So, pretty nice, uh, pr really nice looking autograph too by Jerome Walton. So, he, his career never really materialized. He did have a thirty-game hitting streak in nineteen eighty-nine when he won Rookie of the Year, but other than that, he really didn't do much. <clears throat> um, next, I got this really nice. Uh, in-person autograph of Garrett Cole, who uh, was the first overall pick in the 2011 uh, draft. Uh, he's in the Pirates organization. This is the t his Team USA uh, Bowman Chrome card. Didn't have an autograph of Garrett Cole, so very happy to add that to my collection. Um, let's see. Let's go with this. This was a consignment. Um, I bought a whole bunch of Car Caleb Cowart cards to get signed in Beloit, but he got promoted by the time I saw him the second time around. Uh, so someone on sportscollectors.net was offering consignment. Uh, he does the Arizona Fall League. So I was able to get all of these done pr really pretty cheap. So um, Caleb, Cowart, Caleb Cowart on seven. So <clears throat> nice to get those done. All nice looking autographs. Um, and then I did a 50-50 with somebody, um, I sent him about 100 cards, and this is all I got back, so I was a little disappointed, uh, obviously he sent back the cards that did not get done, but just the sheer amount of cards that I sent compared to what he actually got signed, I mean, it wasn't even worth, the, it wasn't even really worth the postage, but, so I probably won't be doing any more 50-50s in the future, as far as sending them out to people, just, it's not worth it. Uh, this is what he did get done. He did get a Hunter Moores, which is nice. He had a crazy uh, year last year. Hit over 300, 28 bombs, 113 ribbies. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Hunter Morris got Lars Davis, <clears throat> uh, Michael Almanzar. Got four Logan Darnells. Got one Brian Fletcher. And a slight, slight Heathcott purple refractor that's numbered to 999. So that's a pretty nice looking card. But just, I mean, there's a, there's a hundred cards that he had to send back. I mean, I spent probably eight bucks in postage just for that. It just wasn't worth it. Um, next, very happy with this. <clears throat> I traded a couple of signed eight by tens that I had doubles of. Uh, here's what I got in return. Um, I got third overall uh, pick from this past year's draft. Uh, plays in the Marins organization, Mike Zazuno. Mike Zazuno. <clears throat> I can't even talk. I, I actually do have another cold, if you can't tell. <laughs> Luckily, it's not pneumonia. But uh, anyway, I got this nice eight by ten of Mike Zazuno, and then I traded another eight by ten and got <clears throat> this uh, signed eight by ten of George Springer. Had a crazy year last year <clears throat> in the Astros organization. Pretty weak looking autograph, but uh, it's a cool looking photo when he played for the University of Connecticut. So got those. Uh, and then I got all of this, purchased all of these, <clears throat> uh, I got Matt Davidson, got two of those, uh, Nick Trapiano, Tony Zich, I think I'm still pronouncing that wrong, he's in the Cubs organization too, <laughs> should know how to pronounce it, but uh, I got two Hunter Morrises, I think he's going to be a stud, so I'm picking up quite a few of his autographs, <clears throat> I got two Kevin Quackenbushes, by Greggy. Um, Grant Green, that's a really nice looking car. The autograph really pops on it. So, very happy with that. And a Chris Davis, who I did meet in Beloit, but he didn't have cards at the time, so I got that. Um, and then I did a, a, a blind trade. I have a minute and a half left, so I'm going to have to cruise through this. 50 for 50, so uh, here we go. You got Brandon Kinsler, Mike Mason, Brock Holt, Greg Burns, Luke Montz. Wesley Wright, Caleb Joseph, TJ Steele, uh, Cubby Chris Volstad, Brian Barden, Mike McCoy, Ben Heath, Jose Ramirez, Alex Hinshaw, <clears throat> uh, Ramon Levar, uh, Vinny Chulk, uh, probably my favorite one, I didn't have an autograph of him, Denard Spann, Jack McKeon, 
Eric Neeson, that's a nice one. Buck Showalter, didn't have one of him yet. Uh, Scott Siebel, Brandon Berger, Ryan Corey, Terry Clark, uh, Mark Ellis, uh, Giovanni Meyer, Meyer, sorry, Danny Rosenbaum, Ronnie Ray, uh, Justin Erasmus, uh, Donald Kelly, Rafael Rodriguez, Kevin Franzen, Chris Johnson, uh, Stefan Gartrell, Vin Mazzaro, Darnell Coles, Cole McCurry, Jason Donald, uh, Ken Gilbert, uh, <clears throat> Scott Matheson, Kyle Rose, uh, Chad Qualls, Jay Austin, Vladimir Nunez, Adam Mills, Mike Heath, uh, Zach Gentili, uh, John Hester, uh, Zealous Wheeler, and Eric Brown. So, uh, so yeah, a lot of autographs, nothing real special, but, uh, so yeah, that's all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please, stay safe.